But one of the reasons why I picked this game is because it is the the perfect RNG. It is the Massachusetts on Trident. And not only is there one of them, there's four Massachusetts in this game. So Trident is one of my favorite maps because it's fairly small. And getting it on a a secondary spec battleship on a small map when you're always top tier no matter what because of, of just this map and the matchmaking. This is always, always a, a fantastic setup. So I kind of wanted to see what happens here. I love Trident. It's such a good, fun, small, aggressive map. And then the Massachusetts is just like, it's basically a boss mode here. But the thing is, there's four boss modes in this game. Three on his team, though. <laughs> he has three. They have one. His team has a Turpitz, too. Um, top tier, though. And it's going to just be brawling with battleships. My god. It's a five battleship game. It is still CVs, though. Graf Zeppelin on his team and the Lexington on, on their team. And Destroyers, only one, and Icarus. So this is almost, like, perfect. <laughs> this is almost perfect for a Massachusetts. Small map. Insanely good battleship with good secondaries. Their CV is, you know, it's not the worst to deal with. Um, I mean, Lexington can be pretty brutal, but... You're fairly high AA. There's a lot of juicy targets. And the first one of the first battleships we see is something that is stock. Stock North Carolina. And only one destroyer. That that can't stealth torp. So that makes life easy. Yeah, I think that's the what the permanent one. And there we go. We're off to a good start. You're off to a good start. Broadside sailing cruiser at 13 kilometers. Boom, he says in chat. Boom, he says in chat. And Duca is just like me too. And there go the secondaries. And. Oh, uh, unlucky. But there you go. All right, well, that was pretty easy. Icarus on his left side. They like having the Massachusetts on this map is like cheat codes. It really is. The ship is on fire. Torpedoes dead ahead. And really, he can chill here. This Gata, this, if this Gata is playing it correctly, um, it's really good. And yeah, this guy's gonna get lit up. So props to this Gata for kind of playing it correctly. He's put going over this Hydro. Even if they can trade here. Yeah. Man, they're all going that way, huh? Gata dropping torps is a thousand life. Well, fairly good start. <laughs> fairly good start. I mean, he has the stuff on that side. Man, if if he seriously, if, if there wasn't that Massachusetts on on his right side here, I'd probably go full speed in these guys. Maybe not full speed, but I'd be pretty aggressive. And this war spike, too, is what I'd be focusing on. Let's try and see maybe if he doesn't trust those guys. I mean, it's... I guess the CV isn't going that way. Wait, where is the CV? The CV doesn't even have planes out. His doesn't. It's not a good sign. Oh, no, it does. Okay, the CV is going that side. Yeah, so I would just focus this. You focus this war spike... I guess he's kind of babysitting these guys a little bit. I don't know if you quite need it. Because they're just going to get so beat up eventually. You don't really worry about it. Just focus on this war spite in the middle. Down goes to the, the La Glace. Yeah, I, I feel like right now it's... 
it's just two ships over here, and one's going to continue to kind of get worked on by the CV. I, I feel like this is kind of a waste of time, honestly. Because I would rather these guys waste those two ships' times and the CV's time and help these guys. Right? So you have the Chap, you have the Pensacola, you have this Turpets pushing, and you have Massachusetts. I would work with this Massachusetts and just push in. So I think this is probably a little bit of a waste of time um, trying to help these guys out. And I would just, I would just push. I would just, yeah, you, you got, your gun's got to be firing. See, there's a Massachusetts here chilling. There's a Turpets pushing in. Like, these guys are probably all going to rotate around here. If this guy, would, I mean, if he just would have gone full speed, would have gone full speed here and pushed south, Warsplite Pensacola, I mean, give me a break. You're, you're going to do fine in Massachusetts against those. And then you could even just work on those. And as they're rotating up, you literally hug this island, and then they have broadside. You have broadsides on them. So, um, you know, it was... He's, he's committing to this. I don't think he needs to. I think this is a waste of time. You could have definitely just murdered this other side. Because right now it even kind of puts this Turpets in a weird spot. This Turpets kind of has to push. Because see, like, right now... See, like, how they're they're kind of somewhere... You have this Amagni starting to rotate back... This uh, Vladi's rotating back south now. They're, they're, they have time to kind of disappear into this corner. If you and this Massachusetts would have just continued south, would have continued south, you put so much pressure on these guys. You take out the worst bite, you take out the Pensacola, and then you have these guys basically pincered. As you see, like they're, they're in these. So they're giving broadside to him, they're giving broadside to him, they're giving broadside to him, and they'd be giving broadside to you. You literally just work them down there. So, one guy's already been lost over here. The ship is on fire. You know, sure. You got farmed by the by the CV a little bit, sure. I feel like there, there could have been so much done on the other side at this point in time. But, I mean, he's trying to be a good guy. He's trying to go over and, and save a couple of his teammates. Snag that kill. Oh, unlucky. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think that's fine. Because fire is, I don't know, it's not, it's not awful, I guess. Especially because he's going into secondary range. This is just a t this is a tough spot, man. I would have much rather taken the other situation over this. Fighting off CVs. Fighting a Massachusetts, unless he really wants to kill this CV for some reason. So the guys he ended up trying to save. <laughs> the guys he tried to save, one detonated and one I think got dev struck. Yeah, like the gate is just rolling here. Focus the CV. Must kill the CV. Boom, baby. That's what I like to see on that. Steals all the glory from his Gata. The funny part is now he's so focused on the CV that that one of the ships he was trying to help with, he like he was super focused on killing the cruiser. I mean, it's all working out, right? Like, their their group is is taking forever to do anything productive. So you you kind of have all this time in the world right now. But now he's just like, ah, eh, whatever. What about the battleship, the Massachusetts? Everybody's like, hey, who cares? Hey, who cares? He wanted to kill that cruiser and keep moving. He's offering up the cruiser to uh, his destroyer. Yeah, now you now you just go full speed. The only the only problem the only bummer part is is their their teams now spread out. You have a couple guys north. You have you have a couple guys south. I'd probably go north though, 
Main reason being, I get some distance on myself. It's a Vladi. Vladi's going to just sail into the corner. And then you'd have broadsides on both the Amagi as well as that Norkel. Nor now he's turning back. Maybe it was a maybe it was a long term juke. That's what it was. He played us like a fiddle, chat. And there it is. Yeah, and see, like right here, right here, the 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 Turpitz wins this fight. Turpitz just yellow yellows this in Torps, right? So the Turpitz just wins this, and so this is now thirty. Whatever thousand damage that was just completely avoidable. Although it looks like he's gonna sail perfectly broadside. Aiming high though. Unless the dispersion will help him out. Wow, that was a lot of damage. They still get the kill though. That's it's good. Feels like a little indecision here for targets. But I think you just give the turp. I don't know. That turp is selling broadside. And that guy just dies. I gave, I gave time for that Vladi to. It <laughs> goes that way, comes back, goes that way. How are they doing ship wise? They're up, what, two? They have a CV still. Magi's pushing in. Yeah, I'd basically push straight this way. Push right through this cap, work on this Vladi. That mass is just sitting broadside, though. That's the bummer. Just sitting there. Nice salvo. That's what happens when you sit broadside. Look how healthy they all are, though. It's a bit of a problem late game. They do have map control though, which is good. But now he's in like a, a bad problem because it's like it's just him. That's why I almost wanted him to like rotate over. Rotate over uh as like that group, because then they just slaughter those. Game is giving him citadels. Game is giving him those citadels, man. I thought that was a high shot. Yeah, see, now he's in an awkward spot because the other Massachusetts isn't pushing. So now he has a battleship on his left and he's going against three ships by himself. And still, uh, the uh, cruiser is, is by far the biggest target for him because the cruiser is way bigger threat than these guys. Nope, cruiser is by far the biggest threat. Unless that Vladi, unless he can dunk that Vladi. You gotta shoot though, you just gotta go for it. By now, you could have shot the next salvo. Well, right now, you have a pretty solid situation to do a hero push. I guess he could hold down, but he's just gonna he's just gonna die from it. Oh, he's using a fighter plane. I guess he's probably waiting for this NorCal. You know what I would have done? I would have done, I would have gone full speed forward. I would have kept my secondaries on the Amagi. I would have put guns on the NorCal. I would have drove kind of angled north towards the, uh, the tier eight cruiser that's off to his left. And then I would have posted up right here. 
I would have posted up right on this side of the island. I would have all guns on my left. Help kill the North Carolina. Secondary's blasting off all these. And then you're looking for that hero ram. Looking for that triple kill action. Yeah, it, it is a bummer though that it is a bummer that uh, oh you gotta kill that. And this is the reason why he should be taking spotter plane instead of fighter. This is a perfect, the ship is on fire. perfect reason why he should be taking spotter plane instead of fighter. Would have just helped that shot. I mean, he's still got a good salvo on it. This is tough, man. You should die from this. There's nothing you can really do. That's why I just would have got the secondaries into the fight a little bit more. Loggy well, might even give him some too. Hey, he trusted his shot there. And always, always as a battleship, whenever you fire, there's always something better that shows up. Nice mess. Oh, robbed. That was the Massachusetts dispersion right there. But this, the like, this fire. situation, I mean, it's like, okay, you have two battleships or a cruiser. You gotta shoot the cruisers. Cruisers will just melt you down. And down. Overall, a good game. I mean, obviously, this ship works really, really, really well with uh, Trident, because Trident is obviously such a small map. But... There was, there was a lot of indecision in this game, and this is, although still very, very good, got 10 Citadels, over 200,000 damage, awesome, awesome game. Um, man, you could have used the early game, and, and I wonder what would have happened. I really wouldn't, I, I wonder what the other two ships would have done, because if you would have moved in with that Massachusetts, and basically had, they would have been surrounded. They would have had two Massachusetts on the south, a Turpets on the north, as well as a Chappie on the north, and a CV on the north. I mean, what do you do? What do you do against that? Except just get murdered, I guess. Um, but no, overall, this is a good example, though, of keep your guns firing. Keep your guns firing. Now, obviously, if you want to wait for a ship to turn to get a bit more broadside, I mean, he could have had a 300,000 damage game if he would have just continued to fire. There was a lot of, like, okay, I'm th this, this, no, this, no, this, no. Okay, I'm going to focus on this, no. So just, like, really just kind of focusing on this this is exactly what you want to see when you switch to a turpits just sitting there um enjoying life throwing out widespread torps is something that will never reach and um also terra the uh, the other massachusetts just also just chill on their broadside that is awesome um so yeah look at that both stationary battleships that's good stuff but uh yeah overall solid game um just some indecision just keep firing keep shooting um just keep shooting but again massachusetts on this map is just like cheat codes so uh but uh, yeah i wonder what would what would have happened if, if they made that push now seeing the way that these couple players are moving maybe it's uh maybe it's a, a good thing he didn't push because who knows who knows if they would have continued on with the push right like I was saying, what the Massachusetts on A cap is, oh well, the Turpets is gonna win that, no problem, right? Also, I think the Turpets went pink this game because he hit somebody with Torps. So, little side note, um, but that Turpets would have probably won that fight, uh, uh, but honestly, the Turpets turned broadside to that mass, so the mass honestly could have killed him. Um, but I, I don't know. I would have put enough faith in the Graf Zeppelin and the Turpets to maybe do enough damage or just worry about those later, make the push early, and get some stuff done. So pretty tough. Um, but overall, good game, good damage. GG's.